members. Today we in Rafid Hai has the great honor to meet with His Holiness Murad Natya Zakei the first Haywaz, who is the supreme head of the Syrian Orthodox Church in all the East. Baruch Mor Qumran Maliu. What can Your Holiness tell us about your life? Well, my humble self live very simple life. Of course, my life is in, in a monastery with our monks, nuns, and the students of uh, uh, St. Ephraim College, which is for our clergy, all our clergy, we wish that they would be graduated from this college to learn what is the church, what is history of the church, and Syriac language, which is language of our forefathers and of our Jesus Christ and St. Mary and all the apostles. And we are proud of it. In this college, they master this language and they are proud that they are those who uh, speak every day speak in this language, Syriac, Aramaic. I was born in Mosul, Iraq, in 1933, 21st of April. And of course, my family, my parents, my forefathers, all the members of the family follow they are members of the Syrian Orthodox Church and they follow our tradition and believe in our doctrine as Church of Antioch and we are proud to be followers of this church, Holy Church. Yes. Uh, when I was graduated from the elementary school, I enrolled in the seminary, St. Ephraim Seminary. It was at that time in Mosul, Iraq. Mm -hmm. Thank God, I was very successful, and I graduated from the seminary with high position and become a monk in 1954 I was ordained a monk and uh, first of all I was appointed as a teacher at the seminary itself then next year in 19 55. I was appointed as second secretary for the late Patriarch Magnasio Safran I in Homs. And uh, in 1957, I was ordained a priest, monk a priest, and of course that is position very respected in our church that to be secretary, I become secretary to, to my predecessor to Patriarch Yaqub mm -hmm. after the dismiss of Patriarch Ephraim, God bless his soul. At that time, 
my life started to be more ecumenical because my predecessor, Petiak Yaqub, sent me first to represent him in Vatican II as official representative and observers. I started to feel that it is necessary to approach all the churches and to understand what do they believe, what is their aim in relationship with the other churches and such the doors of a communal movement opened for me. I don't know what I should say about my life. Only I want to say that I am happy that God chosen me and I have too chosen for myself to be a monk, celibate and single, and to serve my church, not only like a monk, but also I run like a priest. Mm -hmm. Yes, and of course, uh, in such, I followed our forefathers to sacrifice myself, to work hard, to educate myself and educate those people who, whom I was responsible to serve them spiritually. I am happy that I, cho I have chosen to the spiritual life. The spiritual life which makes me ready for the kingdom of God, to serve the kingdom of God in the earth and be ready to serve, to be a fellow or, or one of those who are going to inherit the kingdom of God in, in the heaven. All my life, I considered the spiritual life very important to all the clergy. If I preach, first of all I preach myself, then I preach the people. I teach myself how to be good monk, good priest, and good faithful of our Lord Jesus Christ and follower of Him in all my life. Uh, many times I was sent to attend conferences and the communal movement meetings and I believed in that too. Even though sometimes you, you, you become disappointed when you see that people or organizations speak about the communal movement and they are far away from the spirit of communal. I am doing my best to be good example in my church and other churches how to be in my behavior as one who loves our Lord Jesus Christ and follows our Lord Jesus Christ and of course and uh, try to be in behavior good students of our Lord Jesus Christ, good disciples. God